epicardial pacing after cardiac surgery. Many patients will require uh, some period of pacing after coming off a cor cardiopulmonary bypass until the normal circulation uh, pathway recovers uh, from the rigors and cardioplegia, cooling and handling of the heart. Some patients need it for longer and there may be an uneven full need for a permanent pacemaker due to complications of surgery, especially after aortic valve replacement. The majority of the patient never require pacing and it is difficult to predict which patient may need pacing or not. So uh, some patients do implant uh, ventricular wires in all the patient while some uh, do only when the patient required pacing immediately prior to the chest closure. And if the patient has single ventricular wire, wire required pacing, uh, wire is placed under the skin and the pacing circuit completed by attaching to the ventricular wire and the neg uh, negative terminal to the pacing box. So what are the indications? Uh, indications uh, is following complete heart block or second degree heart block, asystole or cardiac standstill, bradyarrhythmias, uh, arrhythmias, nodal or junctional rhythm to resolve AV mechanical uh, synchrony, sinus arrest, prophylaxis against AF, high uh, rate burst pacing for control of atrial flutter and uh, usually done after uh, following heart transplantation. Uh, when there is endogenous depolarization of the ventricle, uh, this is more mechanically efficient because of coordinated ventricular contraction. Every effort should be made not to initiate ventricular pacing by first trying uh, atrial pacing. Therefore, atrial wires will be preferable when patients are likely to require pacing and the advantages are 25% increase in the cardiac output or the AV sequential pacing effect is more pronounced in low ejection fraction and increased left ventricular feeling in the ventricular hypertrophy and decreased left ventricular compliance that is diastolic dysfunction or ischemia. So the wire uh, could be placed like uh, now atrial or ventricular separately and it could be a cord wire with atrial and ventricular wire go together and um, the wires uh, in the cord wires it is usually blue and white which goes to ventricle and atria respectively or vice versa in some cases uh, according to the local protocol and these wires uh, are uh, normally taken out after a few days uh, post cardio uh, pulmonary bypass with a gentle traction there is dislog uh, dislodgement by the heart contractions and excessive resistance uh, if excessive resistance is encountered then we cut close to the skin and the ends retract inside the skin Patients are usually observed for a few hours uh, as there is a risk for tamponade and, and usually not taken out if the INR is too high and the ECG is monitored as there is a risk of arrhythmia as well. Usually uh, they are taken out in uh, the working hours and uh, not taken out, out of hours. If the pacing wires are still in place and pacing is uh, patient is seen to be pacing dependent after seven days uh, then there is an indication of the pacemaker when there is a complete heart block, sinus node dysfunction, second degree morbid type 2 block and slow ventricular rate with atrial fibrillation. Now, uh, the modes of the pacing, many of the uh, commonly occurring post-surgical tachyrhythmias can be treated with overdrive pacing. VF or VT may occur during the process and so need ad adequate preparation. AV junctional tachycardias are treated by using overdrive pacing of either atria, uh, AI or AOO 
और सिक्वेंशियल पेसिंग ए बी पेसिंग डी 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 और डी ओ ओ रिकॉर्डिंग रेट इज कैप्चर बाई पेसिंग एट वन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द इंट्रेंसिक रेट एंड देन ग्रेजुअली रिड्यूस इस्टेबलिशिंग द स्टेबल साइनस रिदम इम्प्रॉक्सिजमल री इंटरेंट सुप्रोवेंटिकल टेके कार्डिया इट कैन बी ट्रीटेड बाई अंडर ड्राइव पेसिंग एट लीस्ट द सुप्रोवेंटिकल टेके रिदमियाज If the pacing spikes induces a refractive period in reentrant loop and abolishes it, atrial uh, flutter requires overdrive pacing, as the previous described as uh, effect of type one flutter with rates less than 320, but not in type two with higher rates. Failed as VT reversion with rapid ventricular response. Uh, In this situation, the rapid atrial pacing rates up to 800 beats per minute may induce AF and may be preferable if AV block is high enough to have a slow ventricular response. Sometimes this maneuver may induce the revision to sinus rhythm. Ventricular tachycardia, we give overdrive or underdrive pacing may terminate VT but remains a risky maneuver as it can precipitate uh, VF. so of many problems can arise during the pacing so one has to uh, foresee and uh, be prepared if the problem arises most important is failure to pace this is differentiated from failure to capture by absence of pacing spikes no electrical activity at the wire tip on ecg is slower than the set heart rate can be due to the lead disconnection lead man a uh, function like if the wire is broken or fractured if the battery is running out over sensing and there's a cross talk then there could be a failure to capture in and there is the presence of pacing spikes on ecg but is not followed by the qrs complex or waveform on the atrial pressure and the pulse oximeter can be uh, it can be due to a low pace maker output in milliamperes high stimulation of threshold and pacing wire displacement from myocardium increases since due to fibrosis myocardial ischemia electrolyte imbalance medications such as beta blocker verapamil lidocaine sotalol flaconide or propofol so what should we do we can increase the pace maker output if not uh, on extreme threshold correction of the factors reversing the polarity uh, of bipolar pacing leads changing to unipolar pacing with subcutaneous uh, return pacing wires temporary transvenous or uh, esophageal pacing if threshold progressively increases transcutaneous pacing in emergency the next problem is failure to sense this must be distinguished from the normal pacemaker function with it in appropriate setting and check the sensing threshold cross talk occurs at the dual chamber pacing modes when the atrial pacing is spike are sensed by the ventricular wires and inhibit ventricular output maneuvers is uh, reducing the sensitivity and reducing the pacing output so we need to check the pacing in several ways uh, stimulation and sensing thresholds should be checked at an earliest uh, moment then uh, daily in addition to the battery check stimulation threshold checked in all the patient and sensing threshold once the intrinsic rhythm has been established uh, the underlying rhythm should be checked regularly by turning down the pacing rate and letting the endogenous rhythm to emerge and thereby assessing the ongoing need for pacing the stimulation threshold this is the minimum output needed to consistently capture the heart method of assessing set the rate 10 above the patient intrinsic rate decrease the pacemaker output slowly until there is a loss of capture increase the output until there is a steady capture this is stimulation threshold set out twice the stimulation threshold next is the sensing threshold this is at least sensitive setting 
biggest MV value at which the pacemaker can uh, detect heartbeat. Method of assessing set the rate 10 below the patient's intrinsic heart rate, set the ventricular output to 0.1 MA. This will prevent inadvertent R on T induced ventricular tachyrrhythmia. And uh, highlight ventricular sensitivity, decrease the sensitivity until the sense indicator sp uh, stops flashing. Increase until it starts flashing again the sensing threshold and set the sensitivity dial to one and a half of the M MV value. There can be many complications which can uh, happen with pacing and uh, pacing wires. It could be bleeding and hematoma formation, especially if the patient is on anticoagulation, uh, cardiac tamponade, myocardial damage as we are passing the pacing wires through the heart, infection of the skin and underlying tissues, perforation, disruption of the coronary anastomosis, inadvertent disconnection of the lead system, asystole following abrupt of uh, pacing and ventricular tachy tachyrrhythmias due to inappropriate pacing and there could be muscle and nerve stimulation which could lead to twitching and uh, hiccups thank you